They've been waiting for a while already, correct? Um, I know. I hope. I hope you tried this on loose leaf at home. Uh, I'm telling you, you probably noticed that's the pattern, right? Like you're gonna have to put in some work, some elbow grease, right, uh, to actually conquer these questions. Once you get the hang of it, you're gonna be surprised what you can tackle. Like you'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna zoom out. There's gonna be little things that I need to watch out for. And I'm just going to slowly walk through it and get to the finish line. B, what did B ask us for? Determine the cost of soil to build the garden, not including taxes. And we determined that soil goes around the pond. And this is a bit exaggerated. Four inches would definitely not be this high up. But as soon as you add a height to something, you have volume. Okay. And the problem was maybe we should highlight the fact that this this was in inches, okay? So inches is going to be a bit of a problem because we have feet with everything else. So we determined that to find the volume that needs soil or like that, basically the donut, we need to go volume of the big cylinder minus volume of the small cylinder. That's where we ended up. And I also showed you the trick. Uh, this is probably worth highlighting or making sure you understand, right? If you have something in inches, it's it's I, I like this more than having decimals because decimals you will have like if it's 0.33, then you have to use four or more decimals. That's a bit annoying. So just leave it as a fraction and just work with it that way. So a lot of tricks here. So pi r. Uh, capital R squared uh, H minus pi lowercase r squared H we filled it in now we just need to calculate that I don't think I did yesterday I think I we you got saved by the bell there okay. so pi r squared so this is how you tackle this one here make sure you look up right I just go times 4 divided by 12 just like that times 4 divided by 12 and so you get 26.17 something and then on this one you can probably just copy paste right i'm going to go bring that down instead of 25 3 squared is just 9 so i'm going to go 9 and then delete there you go so pi 9 times 4 divided by 12 that's 9.4 9.4 something. I'm just checking here. I think we're good. 9.42. Please stop me if I make a mistake, okay? I do make mistakes. Uh, you were very well aware of that if you had me last year. Yep, yeah, he makes mistakes. Minus, so this is 16.75 something 16.75 and what are we in always remember you've been working with feet so this is cubic feet okay remember that um so so i'm not done yet now i need to figure out the cost correct so how do i do that um uh, i gotta look up again so I need I know I know how much I need in cubic feet, but this is this is sold in bags containing 2.0 cubic feet, and each one costs 6.99. So watch carefully. the 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 most common one is in cubic yards, to be honest. But because it's little bags, it's just a little amount. So we go with cubic feet. But if it's like a truck bringing stuff, it's going to be in cubic yards. Have you ever ordered soil from a big company? They come with their dump truck. Why would you? Right? You don't have a yard yet. But I order soil every spring to just add to my flower beds and the grass. Have you helped at least spread the soil? Some of you? Yeah. Anyways, you always the company doesn't even say cubic yards. It's like, how many yards would you like? And what they mean is cubic yards, honestly. So one... This is a fact, one scoop of the loaders, you know these big loaders with the scoop? One of those big scoops is like three yards. So when you go to their yard, 
when you go to like the depot where you get it, I take my trailer and if I want one yard, just fills it up like a third of the way and just dumps it in my trailer and then have a nice day, right? Just the fact that it could actually come in handy. If they ever say, hey, you need this many scoops that have this many yards, right? So be careful with that. Anyways, we're buying it in bags, comes in two cubic feet. So let's do the math here. You're probably wondering, why didn't you round yet? Because I'm not done, okay? Number of bags, uh, you would go 1675 dot, 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 divided by two, right? This is both in cubic feet. So we take our answer, and in this case, we just divide it by two. Okay, so bags would be 8.37, but you know we can't buy 0.37 of a bag, so we will say approximately nine bags. This step is crucial to figure out how many do you need to buy, right? Nine, and now we can do the cost. Cost, is nine times, they are 6.99 each. We don't want taxes, so we're just gonna worry about this step right here. So nine times 6.99, that's 62.91 dollars. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, this is it. That's our, so that answer is B, we're good to go, keep going now. Like what else do we need to do? C, you just gotta stay with me, okay? Some of you are kind of falling asleep on me here, so try to try to stay awake. Uh, the pond liner, let's read this part. The pond liner, the water pump and soil have both GST and PST applied. Watch this part right here. I'm going to use a different color. This throws some students off, but it shouldn't. The excavation has only GST applied to it. So what it means is the excavation, it's 5% only. Did you know that a service is only taxed 5% in this province? A service? Like excavating is just a service, right? It's, it's not a product. Like you can't say, hey, I want to buy one excavation. It's just a service where they dig it out, right? So when a, when, a furnace, when a furnace person comes to your house to service your furnace, they only charge P, uh, GST. And I don't know why you would want to know this, but if you, order, if you ever order like a big bouncer for a party, they only charge you 5% GST. Anyways. That is a thing in this province. Not everything is taxed 12%. Remember that. So let's figure out, okay, basically determine the total cost, including taxes. So we're gonna do that part. Let's go over to C. I'm gonna use that uh, page 31 here. Total cost. What is included in the total cost? Like what is it that we all need to figure out? We need to find so the soil, right? We need to add the liner and we need to include excavation. That is basically what's involved. Oh, sorry, liner plus pump, right? I'm just gonna go and pump. I went back and read, so liner, soil, liner and pump, excavation. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna jump uh, too far ahead. We're gonna read one more time. I'm gonna go back and see is there something I'm missing. So use you can use page 31, like that big blank page next door. It's all ours for this question here. Um, what is it that I'm ask uh, that I need to figure out? Topsoil. Okay, got that. Uh, I need I know how much that costs. Excavation. I figured that out already in A. So excavation and soil, I've calculated. What about the pump and the liner? Am I not giving you that here? Oh yeah, I see it. Now I see it. Uh, what color haven't I used? Green. So the pond liner and the water pump are just 150 altogether. 
Are you wondering what a liner is? No, some of you know. A pool, like if you have an outdoor in-ground pool or above ground, that is a liner that holds the water. It prevents it from seeping into the ground. So that's what a liner is. So some of you probably already know that, but uh, you want to kind of put a liner, like a blanket inside that pond so the water can't escape. That's what it is. So we, we know it's just a fixed cost. We don't have to calculate anything more. Can I just give you a heads up? You're with me, right? Could they have asked, could they have turned this question into possibly you having to calculate how much liner you need? If you had to like line it, if you had to like fill this cup with liner, a thin material, that would be surface area, correct? Surface area of a hemisphere. So I'm just giving you a heads up. Everything under the sky is possible, right? So in this case, they didn't go there. They just gave you the price altogether. So go over here. See? These two get uh, tax GST and PST. This part, only GST. And I'll tell you one more thing. The exam booklet will have the tax rates either on the question or I'll show you later on when we go through an exam. It'll be at the back. GST is 5%. PST is 7% right now, 12%. So some of my keys, if you ever, if I assign some of the questions, may have 13% taxes, because there was a time where taxes were 13%. Just ignore that when that happens, right? You just know that it should be a little less than what my final answer is. So there you go, 5%, 12%. So let's go ahead and do this. Soil, I know, is 62.91, and the liner and pump is 150. I'm going to put that in brackets, and I'm going to multiply that by 1.12. That's how you add taxes to a price. Plus, excavation, I already determined that that's 375. I'm going to multiply that by one point. Hundred dollars if you know this. No, I'm just kidding. What would be what would be here? One point zero five. That's right, because it's five percent. Uh, so it's a hundred and five percent that you pay, and over here you pay a hundred and twelve percent. Okay, that's how you do it. So let's figure out this part. This is two twelve ninety one times one point twelve plus three seventy five times one point zero five. And now we just need to be careful. I would still keep it separate. Uh, 238 and you can round when it's dollar amounts they allow us to round in to two decimals right away 393.75 for the excavation and now we're just going to add that together 632.21 is the entire cost So, and so obviously if you made mistakes in A and B, this answer would be different, but we would look for, are you applying the taxes correctly? That's what we'd be looking for in this, in this particular section. Sorry, I kind of moved it on you there. So that's that. D. Yossick, the other applied teacher. So D says the Yossicks would like, would also like to build a walkway from the house to the garden that is three feet wide. It is to be paved with bricks that measure four inches by eight inches. I'm reading that to you, but it's actually on page 30. Indicate the total number of bricks that you will need for this design. <laughs> I'm going to go back to page 30 for this. So basically what we need to do here is to build a walkway that is 12 feet long because it's from the house to the garden, right? So we wanna build something like this. And we know this is three feet wide. 
and we know it's 12 feet long okay so that is the surface we need to put pavers anybody ever done that put pavers down like the bricks it's actually pretty this is exactly the math you would do i needed to go buy the bricks i had to do this math right here so it will come in handy if you if you know how to do this okay so we're going to take this and bring it over to page 31. so i'm going to i'm going to make this a little bigger here and i know this is three feet watch your units this is 12 feet this is the the what is it the walkway yeah walkway and this is a brick right here isn't it funny that a place that sells like comfortable furniture and mattresses is called the brick i don't know it's, just found that amusing okay so that's your brick so how would you find out how many of these fit in there brave volunteer not all at once exactly essentially we're gonna say what area are we covering here and what is this area and so how many of them do we fit in there okay so the area here is three feet times 12 feet and what is three times 12 36 square feet there we go what's the area of this thing What's the problem here? Feet, inches, you see that? But remember the, the trick I showed you? You're gonna go four divided by 12 times eight divided by 12. That's the fix to turn that. So this is now in feet, this is now in feet, okay? So we could have converted it later for sure or you could have converted each individually, that's okay. Four times eight is 32. Uh, 12 times 12 is 144. And it's probably a good idea to turn that into a decimal. You don't have to, but that's 0 0.222 square feet. So one brick, because it's so small, it doesn't, it doesn't take up a whole lot of square footage, right? It's four inches by eight inches. So now the number of bricks will be total area. This is almost like a general formula. Total area divided by area of brick. Exactly the same reasoning with volume. Total volume divided by the volume of like one scoop or one wheelbarrow, whatever you, it would be volume, obviously. So we go 36 square feet divided by 0 0.22 square feet. Cancel, cancel. So we go 36 divided by. So it's a hundred. It's exactly. It doesn't always happen that way, but if it had been a decimal, then you would have been expected to turn that into a whole number because it's discrete. So we need 162 bricks for that. Whew. No cost on this one. It just wanted the number of bricks were done. Okay. All right. Let's go to, I asked you to try question D. Right. So we're going to go and skip a few pages here. The fish tank, it's, it's coming back. So just hold on for now. We're gonna we're gonna agree to some units here measurements so that uh, we don't all go crazy on this one. I don't know if you already tried this, but 30, 34. You're already going crazy. Yeah. Well, a little less crazy. Okay. 
So problem D, let's read it. The Smiths have asked you to construct a semi-circular driveway in front of their house. They have provided you with the following diagram, which is not drawn to scale, so you can't use a ruler and just estimate, right? That's why they're saying that. Uh, and so notice this is actually an old exam question too. And you'll see that there are some blanks here, which you have to fill in. But we're all going to agree to something here, so just keep reading. Uh, this is the information you'll need. A hole must be dug to accommodate the depth of the gravel and concrete. The driveway must be 10 feet wide, so it must be 10 feet wide. So let's put that in there. This part, it must be 10 feet wide. So we don't have an, there we cannot argue with the question. It's 10 feet wide. Oh, I changed this to, never mind. You don't have to guess, but the, the province had made you choose whatever you wanted here with some restrictions. The layer of gravel must be seven inches thick. So what what's this here, folks? It's, I'm going to try my best here. I'm going to do a side view of this. I know what you're thinking. You're like, whoa, right? And I know that's what you're thinking. Yeah. Um, so, so this part right here is kind of making a cross cut and showing you, right? You need to fill this this depth with gravel and then some concrete on top of it. I'm sure you. That's how it goes. When you do gravel, when you do concrete work, you need to have gravel underneath. So. We're told that the gravel must be seven inches thick. So that's, we've taken care of that. And that the layer of concrete must be four inches thick. Okay, so seven and four. So what do we know all together from end to end? Right? This is how many inches, seven and four? That'd be 11 inches, right? So, so it's giving you a cross cut of the, the driveway. Like that's gonna, what it's gonna look like from the side. Okay. Excavation costs $5 per cubic yard. Make a note, right, per cubic yard. Uh, gravel costs $18 per cubic yard, uh, they already, went with cubic yard. Concrete costs $170 per cubic yard. So a bunch of costs here. And all materials and labor for excavation must be purchased in whole units. Only GST is charged on excavation. I think I'm gonna highlight that part because while both PST and GST are charged on the gravel and the concrete. We already kind of figured out the uh, uh, A part. So let's see what else we can do here. We filled in all the blanks, uh, the width, the interior radius of the driveway, the depth of the gravel, as well as the depth of the concrete. Read carefully. Okay, so, and I've given you a diagram here. Uh, what else do we need? Look at this this part here. How could we figure out the radius of of this small inside part here? What would be the radius? Think about it. Do it right now on your own. I don't know if you already, already did this, but based on what is there, you should be able to come up with that. It, it kind of hinges on you figuring that out. So you should be filling in a number right there before continuing. So try that. You got it? You got it? Yeah? Okay, let's see. So it'd be if this is 10, right? 
right? If this is 60 all around, we take 10 and 10 off. So this would be 40, 40 across, so this would be 20 feet, correct? Okay. So we did that. What else do they ask? The depth of the concrete, we got that. Okay, all the blanks are filled in. Let's continue. Calculate the total cost to construct a semicircular driveway, including taxes. Okay. <clears throat> Whoa. Right, total cost to construct this thing? Like, what's going on? What are we going to have to account for? Before you even start the project, what are you going to have to account for? Before you start putting gravel and concrete down. You, you understand construction, right? Before you do it, you have to excavate, right? So you have to figure that out. Excavation. Then we're going to figure out, uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter which one you do first, gravel. Then we're going to have to figure out concrete. Okay. So these three things, these three things we need to figure out how much each individually will cost. Then we'll figure out the beat like all together. Okay. So this question jumps right to the end uh, with this one. So your, your task right now to the end of the class is starting, starting this process, okay? Excavation, gravel, concrete. Remember, I'll try to do this one more time, uh, maybe a little bit bigger. I know what you're thinking. Let me try this one more time here, right? There's a layer of gravel. There's a layer of concrete, right? On top of it, gravel is taller than the concrete, sorry. This is what's happening, right? And so you need to make sure you understand that, that you excavate all of it and then you fill it with some gravel and then you fill it with concrete. Okay, so there's there's a bunch of things happening and I want you to be very careful. Uh, half cylinders, right? Not full cylinders, half cylinders. So you're gonna have to do some dividing by half at some point. So I want you to start thinking, okay, let's do excavation here. So go to page 35. And I want you to figure out B here and start with excavation. How would you do that? How would you first of all figure out how much is excavated and then the cost associated with that? Then you're gonna do gravel, then you're gonna do soil. So that's gonna be, uh, I would like you to try that by tomorrow. I want you to at least have done something like, I would say 80% of it you should have been able to do, okay? If you get into some hiccups, that's fine. And then I'm also gonna ask you to try F. Okay, so homework is D. I'm not asking for, you know, to do the whole booklet. I just want you to do, I mean, they are, they are heavy. I know that. So I want you to do D and F. Questions D we're just doing now. And F is, is similar, but uh, it's not circular. It's rectangular. So maybe easier. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. You have the rest of the class to get it started because if you get it started, 